Dress followers. Today we're going to be playing with this cute plexiglass here. Um, I'm going to show a few other things that we have. So I'm going to be playing with this blending solution, these alcohol ink applicators, pinata colors. I do have um, the exciter pack here, so it has more of the blues and greens. I have a cute little gnome vinyl that has a Christmas tree, snowflakes, and then I have this magnolia white paint here. And we are going to go ahead and get started now. So I'm going to pull these guys to the side. All right, you guys, now that I got everything pulled out to the side and ready to go, um, I do want to point out a few things. So. This plexiglass, if you want color all the way to the edge and want to put the alcohol ink on the top, I suggest actually push, taking your thumbs and just gently pushing the plexi away from the wood frame. Um, it will fall out then and you can alcohol ink that top layer and making sure you're getting alcohol ink um, beyond this frame. Otherwise, if you just do the top, you're not going to be able to get all the way um, underneath the frame and you're going to see that line. Now, if you don't want to do that and don't mind, you can easily flip this over and do the back side. So that's what I'm going to do here today. And I'm just going to come in with that blending solution and I am just going to get it all over this piece. And then I'm going to come in, I'm going to use blues and purple. So I got this Baja blue, this passion purple, and the white. And I'm going to come in with quite a bit of blue here. And it's going to look like a big hot mess, but we're going to end up fixing that. So I'm going to come in with the dauber and your little felt piece. It just connects to that Velcro just like that. And I'm going to come in with this and I'm just going to daub up and down. I really want to get this mostly colored and then I'm going to add that purple in and probably a little bit more blue. We'll see how we feel. All right, that's pretty much colored for the most part. I am going to go across the way like this um, just to make sure I'm getting colored all the way on those corners. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna drop that purple right on in there. Just drop it in. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just come right on in with that white too. Okay, so I got my dauber. I'm actually gonna put a little blending solution on this dauber. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more blue mixed in. Again, it's just going to come down to a preference. And I'm just going to daub all the way around on this piece. And then I'm going to come in with that blue and a little bit more white. All right. I'm going to come in with my blue dauber here. It's all getting mixed and blended, but. And I'm just dobbing up and down, up and down. All right. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm just gonna come back in. I'm gonna put some more blending solution. Not much, I'm just gonna get some dots. And then I'm gonna try to hit that Baja blue right where that is to bring a little bit brighter blue. That's not blended with the purple quite as much. Okay. And I'm just gonna sponge just in little circles there. Okay, I'm liking the way that looks. Now it just comes down to preference. There's so many colors in this pack. I could have done a bright like red and purple or a pink and purple. Um, and really created something beautiful as well. I just was kind of trying to go for that blue look, um, kind of that stormy, snowy sky. Now, since I am gonna put snowflakes on here, I could go ahead and make more prominent marks with this white, that'd be very cute as well. Um, I'm just gonna kind of show you. And I'm gonna flip this over so you see what I'm talking about. So since I'm gonna put snowflakes on there, I could go ahead and put little white dots like that. That'd be very cute. And just add to that snow look. Um, but I'm okay with just having it all the one color. I'm just gonna kind of quickly dab over these. Kind of blend them just a little bit. So again, I like the way this looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. Best thing is when I go to apply my vinyl, I don't have to worry about um, it being wet. I am, however, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this um, white canvas underneath here. Cause I want you guys to see what I'm seeing a little bit more. See all the blue and that marbling going on. So gorgeous. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my snowflakes. I'm just gonna push this to the side. And I'm just gonna put these all right out on my media glass right here. And now I could put these on how they are, or since I had this paint, um, I can paint my snowflakes. So, I have a foam brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and Give these some color. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm okay with um, not putting two layers on this. Kind of, oops, a little more rustic snowflakes, I guess. If you got the paint inside these cracks like I just did, because um, I put too much on my foam brush, you can just take a toothpick and work the paint outside of the cracks. Unless you don't mind it, but I think the detail in these snowflakes are so, so darling. They're really kind of elegant looking if you look at them. So again, I'm coloring all of these and we will end up applying um, E6000 to glue them to our project here. Ooh, they are so cute, you guys. Again, I'm just painting all of them roughly, not too much paint, just a little. Just giving them that dusting of snow white that I'm looking for. All right, I got a couple more here. And I will apply my vinyl while I kind of let these guys dry quickly. They don't have to be fully dry when I apply them. I just want them to be a tad more dry than they are now. And they shouldn't take too long since we're not putting too much paint on there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push these to the side and I'm actually gonna come in with a paper towel and just clean up that paint I put on this glass before it dries. 
All right, let's bring our canvas or our plexiglass back in the view. And now we're gonna go ahead and add that gnome. So since this is a multi-part, I'm gonna go ahead and set all the pieces to the side. And this guy, I actually need my scissors for. This guy I actually need my scissors for, and I'm gonna cut this little uh, ball out. So we're gonna start with this guy, and then we're gonna layer the beard on. Um, if you want, you could do the opposite so that his like feet are up above his beard, but I kind of like the beard covering up his feet a little bit. So we're gonna start with this, his hat and feet. And oh my gosh, look at that beautiful, like deep, almost burgundy red. And I think I want him to be in the middle. I could kind of put him to the side and have the snowflakes all over and maybe add a wood tree. That would be really, really cute as well. Okay. So you do have to be really careful with this plexi because um, it's really easy to stick the vinyl to this. And once it's there, you can't really pull it back up. All right, so we have the hat and feet. Um, and now we're gonna go in with that beard. I'm um, actually, to kind of help me line it up a little bit more, I'm gonna snip the edges down so that I'm gonna be able to line up just a tad bit better with that hat. Again, I just kind of peel from a corner to corner, making sure that vinyl sticks to that top transfer sheet. And then, I think that is good. The best thing about this vinyl is I did design it, so you can end up putting a little gap between the hat and your nose. So if you do get it a little off, um, it will still look darling. And it just gives it character, right? All right. So I got my beard on there, you guys. And then I'm gonna come in. I did cut, remember I cut off that little white ball. So I'm gonna just pull that away. And that's gonna go right at the top of our hat. Oh my goodness, it is so cute already. Okay, so now we got our nose and our hands. And I like to come in with my nose next. You could easily go ahead and put that tree on first. Um, it's just the way I like to do it. Um, there's no wrong or right. And then, oops, I'm gonna come in with this nose. So I'd rather make sure my nose is kind of evenly gapped here. So you could make it so it's kind of overlapping the hat or the beard, but that is what I like is for it to kind of all be evenly gapped. And now I come in with that tree, this little bright green tree, and we're just gonna kind of angle him either right or left inside his beard. Oh my gosh. And then he's gonna be holding this tree. It is so cute. I just can't even with this. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna put a hand there. Oops, stuck to my finger. I gotta make his hands somewhat even. and a hand there. Oh, 
All right, you guys. Ah, it's so cute already. I love it. I just love the different colors in this vinyl. Um, it looks difficult and it's somewhat intimidating, but it's so easy to layer. Um, decorate, decorate Your Life does such a great job um, in putting a picture in there for you to follow if you're a little nervous, um, but it's so easy to puzzle and I love it so much. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with that E6000 and we're gonna attach our snowflakes. Now I could go ahead and add a little bit more white to it, but again, I like this look. I don't want them fully white, that's just my preference. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue and glue them on. Now, if you don't wanna just eyeball it, I suggest going on and just kind of placing them where you already want them. So then there's no guessing or like oops and having to try to move it later. I'm personally not very hard to please, so I like the way that looks and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them all down. Okay, so I got, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue and glue these all down until we are finished. Best thing about this is with this pack, we could all create such different looking um, pieces. Like I said, you could have easily done a pink and purple kind of background if you wanted to. Um, you could have even bought a different vinyl and attached a different vinyl. It just all comes down to preferences. I love the blue on the backside of this uh, project because he's got that red hat. So it just really pops out all the detail in this vinyl. I think it would be really cute to um, maybe even add one of our wood words. Maybe like a welcome or like a bless or gather. Kind of paint it and put it right over here. Um, Again, I think adding a tree would be really cute to this. Maybe like a wood tree here um, or woods or even any um, greenery adding it to this. Either way, it's adorable how it is. There's so many accessories you could add to this to even make it that much more unique. Um, really just comes down to preference, you guys. All right, you guys, I hope you love this piece just as much as I do. It is just so cute. Um, I'm going to add them to all my other little gnomies and yeah, so thank you. Happy crafting.